Hello. Hello, Glenn. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. I'm, uh... Which phone are you on? Try again. Uh, hello? You can't hear me? Hang on. Huh? Try me again. Hello? Can you hear me? Now I can, yeah. I yeah. have three phones in my hand, so... <laughs> what are you, um... Like, uh... We get phone calls from... Yeah, uh, well, I get phone calls and, uh... The phone dies... Oh. While I have it in my hands, and one phone doesn't ring, so I need another phone to ring to hear that one. So <laughs> kind of a game I'm playing. <laughs> oh. well, what's new? Um. Well, for me, I was looking at those. I can't hear you. For me, for me, I was looking at those. Um, there's pictures of where um, where Jenny lives, like the diner. Yeah, and Ogdensburg. Yeah, and from what I hear about it, it's like it's like wow, that's um like um I don't know if I'd be be able to get a job over there, Glenn. Well, you must be able to. It's run by ecclesiastics, and they're the fairest people in the world. <laughs> They live for charity. <laughs> you know? They just are waiting for you to arrive so they can show you how well a person can be treated by enthusiastic. <laughs> Ask Jenny. Yeah, and like, I don't know, if I were to even um, show up in that neighborhood, um, you would, everybody in the town would know about it. Type of thing. Like, that's what it seems like. It seems like it's like a small... Well, at least you would not go unnoticed. <laughs> you would not be declared a non-person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I am. Uh, and uh, I hear a lot of people talking about, I overheard you know, people talking about May 21st was the yeah. so-called like uh, doomsday or something like that. What was it? Today is the 21st, and supper time is the time. It's important super, like Mother Superior, Lake Superior, supper time is the important thing. Mm. And uh, if you look at the Last Supper, they're all facing in one direction, and there's a big wave coming at them from the rear. Mm. So... If everybody's facing the same direction, look the other way. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Well, it's, I know that. I just... I it's the beginning of the end of the world as we know it today. Yeah. Is what he was saying. Yeah. yeah. But he did say there would be a cataclysmic earthquake like no one has ever seen. Well, number nine is the highest rated earthquake, and we've just had one Where? in Japan. Oh. So, so everybody's looking at Japan, but they're not yeah. seeing the wave coming from behind. Japan, from, from us. Are you alone on the phone? Uh, yeah. No, I'm I, on. Oh, who's on? Oh. Mike. Oh, who's that, Mike? Oh, what's yeah. Just Hi, Mike. Okay. I don't know who else is on. I didn't even know Mike was on. So, so if it's going to be at 6 o'clock everywhere... <laughs> One would have to believe it will start in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and work its way around the world, eh? Mm -hmm. Now, what what part of the ocean is um, the, the, the Titanic in? The Atlantic oh. Ocean. Oh, Atlantic. Okay. It would have to go halfway around the world before it got to the Titanic. Yeah. And and I know the 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 uh, Britannic. Um, somewhere near like Europe, like in like um, the shores of 
actually no, it's like like, like near Greece or something, I think. If I yeah. remember that right. So yeah, um, what did you mean on that one picture? Um, you put up the sign, I am not. I am not. There are two places where the word no appears um, in many, uh, many words. It appears in the word Washington, mm -hmm. Brampton, and mm -hmm. all of that ton. Yeah. A ton is 2,000 pounds. And that's a code for the second millennia. 2000, we are in, and the second decade of the second millennia, we are in, and the second year of the second decade of the second millennia, we are in. So not fits there mm, on okay. our side and as far as Japan is concerned their secret society's theater is called No Theater and it's secretly written N-O-H and in the code that would mean it's linked to not, N-O-T. The T and the H are missing something because in Japanese stuff, what is not there is more important than what is, and what's not there is the letter E to make it the no. So with all of that as background, you can take for granted that 2,000 or so years ago, a ruse was born in Jerusalem. And the ruse was put together by a group of guys called wise men. Yeah. Wise men always say yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, IRS. Yes, Paris. Yes, priest. Yes, um, Sri Lanka. Yes, Krishna. So they're always saying yes. But in the year 2011, they lose their power. These wise men become a men. <laughs> the end of the prayer. Amen. A men. And an amen is shaped like a stepladder. It has an infrastructure of male, a front, working front of female, and links that tie it together of uh, Neanderthaler space. And it can do its job from the shelf at the, near the top, which represents the elf. And we have arrived at the age of amen and the end of the world of yes men as we know it. They saying we men, 
And comes the wee man. Wee man are a man. After today. So the symbols I've got on the raft are yes man, we're under control of Noah's Ark. Today, there is no control. Even the president of the International Monetary Fund can be destroyed overnight. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention to you. Like when they did that to him, the IMF guy. Um, it's all they, part of yeah. change in management. Exactly. And that lady was basically, or his wife or whatever, was like yeah. in on it, right? And in Canada, which seems to be the exception to the rule, Harper being reelected, people are jumping to the wrong conclusion. Harper has not been in charge any more than Obama is in charge. In the United States government, the president is cosmetic. The vice president is in charge. In Canada, the man who sits at the right hand of the prime minister when they take the photograph is in charge. His name is Tay, and it's written like toes with a W thrown in. And Mr. Tay's is uh, a migrant to Canada from Uruguay. <laughs> U R as in Ur. Yeah. As Ingray. in Huron. Yeah. As in the Bruce Peninsula. He comes from Uruguay, which is basically one of the main hideout places for Nazis after World War Two. And it says gray in that word, so Eh? As gray. Uruguay. Guay. Uruguay. Yeah, Guay is bird shit. I I I thought I was thinking the word gray, as in you know gray. No, nose. it's bird shit. Guay. Gua. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Everything in this is coprolite, and everything is linked to shit. So that's why. Tish runs the big computer in Washington that gives everybody false information because Tish is shit <laughs> scramble. In any event, having parents with a Nazi background is uh, what qualification he needed to be second in command in Canada. And he's the guy who signed the letter for J for Jenny to stay out of the country, or is reported to have signed the letter. But since he wrote all kinds of things that just don't exist in the original document, uh, he probably doesn't even know what he's talking about. It was done by his Valkyrie, mm. his clerk probably use the signing machine because <laughs> he's too busy being a Nazi. So that's what we have today. The uh, first time this government has a majority and it was rigged in Quebec mostly. The new Democratic Party got 80-some people elected from the one they had before, I think. And many of them uh, were still in school. Some don't even speak French. Uh, 
one doesn't even live in the writing that she won. And uh, during the election, when they tried to get a hold of her, she was on holidays in Las Vegas. She's a single mother. So oh. there's no doubt that the media, and the that includes, of course, religion, rigged the last election, and for the first time, Harper has, uh, and Harper, by the way, has, rap in his name, uh, her in his name, and his first name is Stephan, so he's just there pretending to be in charge, having taken the place of the real person in charge, which is this guy, Victor Tay. So his name, Victor, when you switch the letter C for A, as you can do with Kaka, uh, is Viator. Yeah. Viator is the name of the original ecclesiastic Freemasonry movement out of Egypt in the uh, 3rd century. They are the people who control Basilica, Basili, Basili, yeah. Bah, yeah, and they have a project underway called Research in Motion. The vice president is Mr. Philiba. Philiba. <laughs> so what are they saying? They're saying something about syllable, silly able. Yeah, well, what is research in the first place is a tree. It does research without motion, except it waves around a little bit. And it writes a ring in its trunk. Mm -hmm. Research in motion has to be people who gather up memory while they change position. And therefore, the most important thing is when you have a person that is of interest, you need to know their memories. And to know their memories for certain, you need to have set landmarks. Therefore, you need to have controlled the person's life from before birth in the makeup of the genome and then you must create events in its lifetime that serve as benchmarks on the memory tape so you know for sure when these things happen. And I suggest to you that I know two people for certain to which Dr. Wilder Penfield applied his knowledge. And it was done through the University of Montreal at the Royal Neurological Institute. And later the project was moved out because, of course, it was illegal and placed in a center called Regal. And Regal's task is to make sure that all of those people who have been programmed to, to be seers in life go through their school. And 
my mother brought me there at the age of five. The circumstances of my birth having been more likely from a laboratory than from a natural birth. And Jenny's links are to their division in Oregon, which is count, called Mount Angel. And Mount Angel is near Salem, the home of the witches. Salem, Oregon, and it's run by Benedictine priests and nuns. Those two people are you and Jenny, of course. Yeah. And what they want from Jenny and me mm -hmm. is the opportunity to lock us up, declare us mentally ill, <coughs> and send us for a frontal lobotomy so they can get to the hypo frontal parts that contain memory and check out the languaging of the brain against electronic languaging and recreate our memories on their screen. No. Now, there certainly are others, and I suggest those others are probably the 13 that would create a critical mass. And each of them has the same danger as Jenny confronted in California. Family who would have loved to get their hands on a conservatorship have Jenny incarcerated and as a reward get to share the trust fund set up in her name. Yeah, so her family would definitely commit her to her. Her sister has been trying to do it for years. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. That's, that's so... Well, and, um... But, like, somebody like you, though, like... You don't... What, you think your your ex-wife and your, or your son? Same kind of thing applies... with me, mm -hmm. except my family is all dead, Those and therefore artists. the state oh. was the only one that could do it in my case, and that's why the Deputy Minister of Justice, Rosenberg is his name, <laughs> called me mental to set the stage but how can the th trouble is I have be never lived up to their expectations and everything I do has a logical purpose Never been to a psychiatrist. Never even met a psychologist except my niece <laughs> and her husband, who are both psychologists, and I had supper there once. But I doubt that having supper once in 70 years is sufficient. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I know. I had, I had my mother call me uh, crazy <laughs> at times, Glenn. Yeah. She suggested I go see some type of psychiatrist or whatever. Well, know. that would all be uh, hints that the plan is in motion. <laughs> well. Research in motion is people like us. They're studying us. Well, I'm uh, now. I guess the only logical thing for me to do is to go about uh, circumventing that. Or well, you have to basically do that by being uh, reasonable without depending totally on reason, but work on your intuition as well. And don't react, act. Yeah. They create the need to react, <coughs> like preventing Jennifer from coming here was intended to make us react. They were disappointed when Jennifer was not carrying a weapon as she arrived at the border. What's the matter with you? You're a single woman traveling alone without a weapon? Where's your gun? Uh. Where's your weapon? <laughs> well, they said that to her. Yeah. She could use that as like some type of evidence or something. Sit down over there. We don't like liars here. You're not coming to apply for a visa. You're coming to move in. Now, that would normally get a reaction from people. But Jennifer has been trained for years not to react. So they couldn't lock her up. They set her back out on the highway. And instead of going about doing the job of trying to sneak into the country some other way, we established the protocol protocol for the portal, portal at Ogdensburg <laughs> and not to do anything that would compromise her. Well, it's, it, it sounds pretty rough up there, from what I hear. It what is she said. not safe. However, that's not supposed to be the question one asks if one represents creation. Creation deals with good and evil, right and wrong. Not safe, unsafe. Therefore, only those people who act will follow creation. That's why there are so few. Those who react will not. And by react, could you explain that? Like react, like people Feel. don't think. The whole purpose of reaction is to do something 
against what someone is doing to you. Combating fear by action is reaction. I prefer to say creation is God's boss. And creation does not react. Creation simply allows people to gather enough rope to hang themselves. Because creation is never surprised as creator is often surprised by the unintended consequences of its actions. Creation knows all consequences. Creator does not, and that's why by creating dark energy to replace matter, creation has caused the speeding up of the expansion of the universe, which has put us in the mess we're in. Unintended consequences. Right now, we face the possibility that that expansion will eventually cause the death of all things in the universe because of the lack of gravity. But that's not the only thing. We also have our neighbor's own galaxy, Andromeda, and the Milky Way headed in a collision course. And if that's not enough, we will have the visit of a past and future polar star Alder Amin which will cause additional global heating at a time when Creator has in fact lit <coughs> through a collision in a particle accelerator caused the spark to light the coal seam underground, therefore leaving no escape to the people on the surface as they have made use of in the past. Gone underground, created cities, waited for the time of Alder Amin to go beyond its effect on the planet. Polaris is there now. There will be another visitor as a polar star and 5,000 years from now, approximately, Alder Amin will take back the place of the polar star. What we need is for us to have that 5,000 years with which we can use, first of all, to bring together all the stakeholders and discuss a change in attitude on the part of everyone, and 5,000 years toward, towards a, um, what would you call it, a reintegration a remembering with creation 
so that creation allows the fifth dimension stargate to open and let us through. If all do not agree, then at least let the ones who did agree and work for it pass through the gate before the destruction. <coughs> before the arrival of Alder Amin. Amin being for all intents and purposes, amen. Alder being the first deciduous tree. Alder means the red. La red. Feminine principle, red hair, that red, <laughs> need I say more? <laughs> I get it. I get it, Glenn. The answer is with the dancer. Go, go, go. Not a go-go dancer. Okay. <laughs> but a birth dance dancer. Not a simple belly dance, but a recounter of the original story told to their clone daughters by the original hermaphroditic clan mothers of the world out of Africa. B.A. Ab original. Hey, Glenn, um, I guess be expecting me soon. Hey? I said be expecting me soon. You should be expecting me soon. All we can do is wait and see who responds to the call and what the government does to prevent them will determine their fate. Yeah. Um. I suspect that radon initiated lung cancer is not a pleasant way to die. mode of transmission is water. A flood begins the transmission of radon. Fifty one percent of Manitoba is underwater today. Wow. And they haven't had a cataclysmic event yet. Imagine what will happen when the dam at Lake Diefenbaker is blown open by the Franciscan fathers who sit on the butte next to it. What did, what did you hear anything about um, uh, Mississippi? Hey? Did you hear any 
anything recent about um, Mississippi? Mississippi is the same thing. They are opening up the gateway for water to do much more damage than what they are trying to prevent. And let the Great Wall called Michigan break, and millions and millions of people down the Mississippi will die in the same way as millions around the Great Lake and up the St. Lawrence. If you look at a map and draw a line from Lake Superior to Lake Erie, and back up to the St. Lawrence, you'll see it's the check mark worn by Tiger Woods and many others who promote Nike, which is the goddess of victory. Victor Victoria, which we celebrate on Monday, this coming Monday. and the arrival of the Pentecost is on the 13th of June. The day after is called Whit Monday. So between the 14th of June and today, I would say that we're in dire straits. We've already seen the mini gap from the name of Winnipeg. Brandon is the town most in danger, second biggest city in Manitoba. It has bra and DNA in the name, and it has no at the end. I am no theater. That is Winnipeg's code word, mini gap. Not Winnipeg, but mini gap. The mini gaps are being opened on the Mississippi and on the Assiniboine that has ass at the beginning. We're seeing the beginning of the show. I suspect that the big show doesn't happen till late summer or fall. But it could be put off if a critical mass of people assembled here. Well, I'm, I'm trying Signed to... Uh, a contract mentally with creation. So there. That's where we are today. I need to speak to one of the owners here who called me just a few minutes before you did, and I told her I would have to call her back. i got to do that now. Okay. All right, All right Glenn. Um, um, I'll try. Talk it over. Okay. 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 See you, Mike. See you, George, and whoever else. Okay. Bye for now.